All right, so this is just a quick demo to show you a couple of the new components that you can get with 12C. Um, so this is just a simple application that I built for the Auditor conference, and I showed it over there. And now I can actually show you also here. What you can see here, this component is actually called um, the Panel Springboard. And what it gives you is kind of a top-level menu where you have multiple options. And the nice thing to see is what happens when you actually click on one of the menu options. You get this animation, and the springboard goes over to the top, and then below it, you get the content. And so the content is kind of in a container here, and this application specifically allows you to look up cities and houses and cities and city information here. Um, by the way, the Springboard doesn't have to start like I started it, where it occupies the full screen. It can actually start this way, so you can have your application from the get-go with the Springboard at the top, and then you can navigate between the things. If your page is too small, okay, you get this capability to scroll the Springboard like that. Okay. Um, one other component you can see here is the Sunburst component. This is showing you information in two dimensions and you can expand it and do drill down. So what you can see here is basically how many houses are offered in each city. That's the size. And for each house here, you can see two aspects. One is the size of the house is actually related to the price of the house. And then the color relates to how many rooms are in the house. So this is kind of double encoded. There's a whole blog entry I did about the sunburst that you can find on my blog if you're interested. Right, so this is one uh, component, or actually two components that you get with 12. Um, the other component, by the way, on the page, it's just boxes inside the springboard, which allows you to move across. Uh, you got the little map component here. So this is just the geographic map. It's always been here, so you can zoom in, zoom out, do those type of things. Right and find a specific house, for example. All right, um, the other component I wanted to show you is the cities graph. Notice the nice animation when we move between two areas of the page. And those graphs are coming up in a panel drawer component. Okay, so we can click here and get different tabs. So this is kind of like the tab component, but it's on the side and you can have icons here instead of text. Um, it, again, it's a very popular kind of uh, index type of um, component that you can use in your application. Um, so this is being used here. One other component that is, again, uh, might be new to you if you haven't used 11117, that's the list component. So you can see here a list of the houses and it scrolls down. Right? And you have the load more option here, which loads more houses. Okay and you can see that you can have it broken down basically kind of a master detail this by the way will bring up a little pop-up okay so you can see information about the house so this is the list component and another new component is the timeline component so this is again a very visual component that you can use shows you when each house became available on the market there's a little control here at the bottom that allows you to scroll through the timeline. And you can zoom in, zoom out, do other operations on the timeline itself. Um, one other thing to note here, you can have badging on top of your icons in the Springboard, and that's just this number up here. So this is how your application can look like if you're working with JDeveloper 12. Let me show you a little bit about the coding behind it. Okay, uh, So let's start actually with the Springboard page. Okay, so this is the visual view of the page. And if you actually look at the structure of the page here, you say I have it inside the panel stretch layout. And inside the center, that's the decorative box. That's to get the coloring right. And then there's the springboard in here. Right? So the springboard inside it has the show detail item. And the show detail item is a component you might be familiar with if you use the accordion or tabs in the past in JDeveloper 11. And it's the same component that you basically put inside the springboard. Now, what I did here is inside each spring, inside each uh, show detail, I have a region. So each one of the 
uh, pages you show you've seen inside the Springboard is actually a separate region that I brought into this application. Um, you can see that for the Springboard you have the display mode, okay, whether it's grid or strip. Strip is the on the top, and again you can control this and change it at runtime. Just base this thing on an expression language, and you get that aspect. Um, for the show detail item, okay, um, let's look at the last one, the one called support. You'll see a property. down here called badge uh, with the number two that's the number you see here again this can of course come from some expression language from some data bound data and show you information there a uh, kind of events that happened or something like that so this is kind of the springboard again very easy to use um, very impressive UI for your application very very recommended that you use it and um, this is the um, panel draw component again you can see it over here and again, inside it, not surprisingly, you get the show detail item. Okay, and for each show detail item, you can have um, a specific icon that is shown here. Okay, for the panel door itself, you can have um, the position of the tabs. Okay, where you actually want them, so they can be on either sides of the application. Uh, if you look at the source code, okay, you have a panel draw, inside it a show detail item and the specific uh, item that you want to show. In my case those were graphs that I was showing in the um, The lists component, again I have a separate blog that talks about the list and um, the market timeline Okay, this is the timeline component. Again, it's actually very easy to create one as long as you have a date component in your table. You just drag the collection, drop it um, on the page. You get the option to drop it as a timeline. It is represented like that. Inside the timeline, okay, you have a timeline item, and inside it you can put information about whatever you want. Okay. We switch to the source. What you'll see here, okay? You have the start and end time, and the timeline series, okay? And the timeline item, okay? Notice this reference is, of course, to the variable name for your timeline series. So it's kind of similar to how a carousel work or how um, a hierarchy viewer works. Uh, in the time axis, you can specify the scale that you want and the timeline overview, the scale that you want. So those allow you to control how the timeline is actually shown. So those are just some examples of uh, components that you can use now in 12C to make your application look much more impressive. The other thing to notice, okay, the URL is very simplified. That's one of the new features here. Um, again, take it out for a spin and see how you like the new ADF Faces 12C.